You're really willing to blow up this deal over 20 bucks? Are you? The popular TV show Better Call Saul returns for a second season next week. And Canadian actor Michael Mando is back as menacing career criminal Nacho Varga. And Michael Mando joins us in studio. Good morning. Thanks for coming morning. in. Thank you for having me. Tell, well, congratulations on all of the success. It's really interesting because when you look at it, oh, so, so you're a drug dealer in Orphan Black, you're a shooting suspect in Rookie Blue, you're a career criminal yeah. in Saul. And all the good a, people. You're, you've <laughs> gone to the dark side. Yeah, you know, I, I find it really challenging and interesting to play characters that are going opposite of the norm and to find the humanity in that and open that discourse about why they are the way they are. And that's part of the, I guess, the charm, if, if I can put it that way, of your character in Better Call Saul because it's, it's, he's really complicated. Yeah, he's definitely three-dimensional. He's definitely someone who's interested in making a name for himself yeah. and having some kind of self-worth. And unfortunately, the only, the only option he sees available to him is uh, a criminal activity. There's some pretty intense scenes yeah. that you're in, involved mm -hmm. in where, you know, we're led to believe you're, you're going to kill somebody. Or you're, you, and, and, and you have to play that person. And in that character, when you get into that role, not in the role of Nacho, and you, do, you, do you think he's a good guy somewhere down inside? I think, I think as an actor, you have to look at people as human beings and mm -hmm. you have to not judge them morally on the, if they're good or bad, but understand the motivation of why people do what they do. And I think to, to understand the motivation and the psychology of someone, you realize that the lines between what is morally right and wrong sometimes are bent in very strange ways. And it's interesting to explore that. Do you find that intense? Like when you're coming out of the role, and mm -hmm. you get, like, are you just kind of... <laughs> you know, I think the pleasure comes from knowing that you are truthful. I think that's where it is. It is tiring sometimes yeah. and it's draining, but the, the, the taxing of it is worth it when you know that you were truthful in the moment. When you, I guess because of scheduling, you had to be written out of Orphan Black or whatever it is, so successful. Were, were you, did you have any regrets about that? Like, do you miss it? I love, or, I love being one of the original cast members of Orphan Black, yeah. of helping launch that show. And I'm very close with them and friends with them, but um, I'm very happy to be on, on Better Call Saul. I mean, it's exactly where I want to be. And but I'm still friends with the people from Orphan Black yeah. and um, wish them nothing but success. Were you a big fan of Breaking Bad at the time? I came to Breaking Bad late, but I immediately became a yeah. fan when I was binging, yeah. And then so when, if for people who say, for whatever reason, maybe they, they're not familiar with Breaking Bad or whatever, they can, they can watch Better Call Saul. Oh, absolutely. Not, right? Absolutely. It's completely independent. You can watch it. And then the ones who have seen Breaking Bad have all these Easter eggs in the show that they're going to absolutely relish. And y you know them. You recognize them. People oh, yeah. out there recognize them. But if you don't, it's still part, it's all part it's of the character. It's completely separate. It's got, if you didn't like Breaking Bad, you might actually even like Better Call Saul because it's got a lot more comedy in yeah. it, completely different tempo. It's like a, it's like a drama with a lot of uh, dark noir mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, elements. It's um, it's really fun, and we've been really s lucky to have such overwhelming success coming out of season one. Tell me about getting into acting, because you know, the, obviously, you've had some, tremendous success, but Thank at the you. same time, it can be very tough. When did you decide to say, "I'm going to make a go with this"? I started filming TV in 2009, and it's about in 2000. I did theater first, and I had these great teachers that kept influencing me and talking about words like humanity and. Um, great writers like Henry Gibson, Tennessee mm -hmm. Williams, William Shakespeare, uh, Moliere, that just attracted me so much. I felt there was this very beautiful opportunity for social dialogue through the arts, and that's why I got into it. And um, in 2011, I had done about two, three years of television, and I said to myself, I think, uh, I think this will be what I will wow. do for the rest of my life, yeah. And, and you were quite an athlete, though, as well, right? Yeah, the, yeah absolutely. Day, I, mean, yeah. I, I, can't, I grew up sort of interested in poetry, literature, and sports. Yeah. And you're really into that. And then, okay, but there's yeah. a backstory here, too, because you're really into sports, and then yeah. that kind of got cut short. You, yeah. you were involved in a shooting incident back in the day. Um, yeah, it was, it, it was a kind of like a, um, it was a situation where I felt I needed to um, protect somebody that was dear to me against people who had bad intentions and unfortunately it ended with me being shot but um, you were okay you were shot in the knee I think I like I like to think of it as it ended positively in a sense that I can still walk mm -hmm. uh, no one got um, didn't get any worse than that no one got hurt uh, in worse ways than that but looking back at it I think um, yeah maybe it's uh, a <laughs> 
It's interesting backstories because all of these stories, whatever you've been through your experiences, mm -hmm. you bring all that, yeah, you know, yeah. the good and obviously, you know, the not so good to yeah, your roles, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah, I think you, you, you have to take from whatever you can and make the best of everything that you've gone through. I think there's an opportunity in anything that you live or go through to look at it from a positive side and to help it better uh, your life and hopefully the lives of others. Well put. Michael Mando, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for Pleasure having me. Pleasure to chat with you. Thank you. <laughs>